Okay, welcome once again to Philosophy Online Lecture. We are still on philosophy and culture, and in this lecture we'll be uh, uh, trying to understand the what culture change is and areas where we have culture change, okay? So now, the idea of culture change is a situation where there is a change or alteration or modification or abolishment of some set of norms and system in a society okay so now a, a culture change could imply that we do not want to be approaching a certain situation this way again we want to be approaching it in another way okay so that is an example of what we mean by culture change okay so now there are two uh, kind of change uh, when it comes to culture. The first one is evolutionary, and this one is when it's the change in culture does not have any external influence, maybe uh, from other society. It is one that happens within that society, okay? Uh, one that is immanent or internally generated, okay? So now, uh, this happens when, for instance, a belief is no longer workable or a value system is outdated. Like Friedrich Nies uh, put it when he talk about values. He said that we were the one that creates values, right? And so we should not forget when a value is no longer working, we should try and change it. Okay, so now, for instance, uh, a, a kind of culture that is popular in Nigeria is the idea of collecting bread prize. But there are some set of people now who are saying, no, this is barbaric, we don't want to be do doing it anymore. It's not because of Western influence. It is because of they now having a new idea that uh, we don't want to be selling off our daughters and so on, okay? So now that is the evolutionary kind of culture change, okay? The next one we have is that one that has to do with contact with foreign culture, okay? So uh, we sometimes call this diffusion or uh, what is known as acculturation. Shown, okay so now this is when two uh, cultures uh, diffuse into one another okay for example we adopting the culture of the europeans the europeans adopting the culture of the south americans and so on like in sports games now football started in england right but uh, it, it is adopted in other countries, okay? So uh, uh, still in various areas like uh, homosexuality, uh, same-sex marriage, that culture started in the Western world. Some other part of the world have already adopted it. So that is culture change, diffusion of culture change. So now, uh, having understood uh, both we should know that culture change consists of some process. Uh, it, it includes some factors, right? Now, uh, it is not all uh, everything that the Europeans brought to us that were accepted, right? There will always be some resistance from uh, traditionalists who do not want to change, right? There will also be some people who are willing and eager to accept some of the new method, and there will be those that we reject it's entirely okay so and then uh, sometimes culture change is mostly an unconscious uh, and a non-deliberate act okay and uh, sometimes it is deliberate right or uh, for instance when Maurice Lesser said the killing of twins is a barbaric culture the people made a deliberate act to end that practice okay so that is what I mean okay so now Moving on to various areas where we have culture change, using the diffusion of the Europeans and Africa as a case study, uh, the dynamics of culture change in Africa involve the impact of Western civilization and our reaction 
are as ind indigenous people okay so now let us take a look at these areas where we have culture change economic change is number one now economic change like the way we do things before maybe a uh, business through trade and butter has changed today now we have currency we uh, uh receive is no longer uh you you know it's not longer that the fact that because you have so many cows or so many farmland you are the richest person no it uh, things have changed there are various uh, oil and gas people are moving to oil and gas over the country at large you know so that is one of the uh, highlights of economic change okay so there have been significant change in that culture and uh, that is this okay now in political change uh, before the advent of the europeans we have our political and traditional rulers and kings and so on and even these people are respected and seen as the second in command to god but in today's world they have been changing that aspect right we have the federal system of government right uh the president the senior president and the uh chief justice of the federation okay that is a change in the political system of the country okay and that is another manifestation of cultural change we also have the technological change right now the way in which we communicate and um, before where we use tank choirs we use flames or fire no is, is this still the same today no we are now using telephones to transmit information letters and so on okay so that is an example of technological change also we have released just change and this is very very evident before there was nothing like islam or christianity but now that is the most popular one right the traditional still exists but islam and christianity is now the most popular one that we have here in africa okay so now family changes too now before we were more friendly with the idea of polygamy it's what if in fact it was our teen right but with the advent of the europeans their various uh, their way of life right we try to copy that too that that is a cultural change we are now saying okay i have to marry one wife uh, family planning blah 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 and so on uh bringing over religion into the aspects that it is uh uh the christian way that will marry only one wife okay so that is an example of family changes in culture okay so that is those are the five areas we have looked at when it concerns the manifestation of culture change and uh, i'm sure you have been able to also understand the idea of culture change thank you so much for listening i hope you got value for your time once again and please do subscribe and turn on post notification